Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress website on CyberPanel with a domain name and an SSL certificate. So if that's something you want to learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. I'm going to assume that you already have CyberPanel installed on Ubuntu um, at an IP address somewhere, and that's kind of the state that I'm in right now. I have uh, my CyberPanel admin login dashboard here and it's running at this IP address, and by default, um, you can access this under port 8090. So let's go ahead and get a domain name for this cyber panel instance. So we know the IP address. I'm gonna to go to my domain name registrar, which is Namecheap in this case. If it's different for you, uh, these, these steps might be slightly different, but the concept still applies. All we need to do is add uh, DNSA records for the domain name and maybe the www.domainname.com. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to use site2.xyz. These are all domain names that I own. I'm going to go click on manage to access the advanced DNS settings. And in here, um, I'm going to get rid of these old A records and change them to the new IP address. So one for the domain name itself, which is site2.xyz in this case, and that's uh, signified by the at symbol, and then one for www right here, dot site2.xyz. So we're going to go ahead and um, apply those changes here. So just two A records, that's all you need to do in order to associate this IP address with the domain name that you own. Now back here, this could take some time to propagate, but let's see if it happens quickly for us. If we ping site2.xyz, hopefully we'll get back the IP address that we're working with, and we do, so 4579.81.230, that's good. So up here in our browser window, we can go to site2.xyz colon 8090. And uh, you'll get the, the error that your connection is not private, um, but we can proceed and we'll see the same exact thing. So let's go ahead and log into your cyber panel dashboard. And for me, um, my, my username is admin and my password, I'll type that in. And again, I'm assuming that you already have cyber panel up and running. If you don't already have that, um, check out uh, a video that I have linked um, either down below in, in this video somewhere, and that'll get you to this point. So. Um, now that we're in here, the first thing we want to do is to create a website container. We can do that over here on the left-hand section by going to websites, create a website. Um, so click on that. And then in here, we're just going to go right through the website details. Default package is the only option. Admin is the only owner. Let's go ahead and type in site2.xyz for our domain name and an email address for your administrator. So I'll type in Tony at Tony Teaches. Tech PHP version. I'm going to pick the latest one, and then you want to make sure you clicked on additional features for SSL, which will install a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate and give us HTTPS encryption. So let's create this website. This will take um, just a few seconds, and when that's done, um, that'll, like I said, that'll create the website container, and then we can put the application within that website container. So in this case, the application we're going to be looking at today is WordPress. So just a few more seconds here, and then we can go ahead and set up WordPress. It's um, finishing up, and there we go. We're good to go. We got the SSL certificate installed and all that. So let's go back to websites and list out our websites, and we should only have one website at this point, but you might have more than one if you have an existing cyber panel instance. So here is our, um, our website. It is accessible. Um, at this link right here, this manage link. So that'll open up a new uh, tab here for us. And all of these settings are specific to site2.xyz now. And what we wanna do is come down to the bottom. There's, there's a whole bunch of options here, but we're just interested right now in installing WordPress. Um, these are all these different applications that you can install on the website. Uh, but let's go ahead and focus on WordPress with a Lightspeed cache. So the blog title, um, I'm gonna just say, hello world. And these, again, these are all specific WordPress uh, attributes in metadata. So the name of our website is going to be, the name of our WordPress website is going to be Hello World. Login user, I'll pick Tony. Login password, I'll type that in. My email again. 
And then um, if you want to change the default root path, you can specify something here. I'm just going to use uh, the default and click on install now. So this now is going to actually install WordPress into the the website container that we created for site2.xyz or whatever domain name that you're using. So that's good to go. Let's go ahead and try it out. So if we go to site2.xyz, we should see the default 2020 theme for WordPress and we do. Um, if we want to access the admin dashboard, we can go to our website slash wp-admin and that'll allow us to log in with the credentials that we just typed. So for me, that was Tony and my password. And this is now the admin dashboard for WordPress where we can create blog posts, upload images, media, um, create pages, respond to comments, add a theme, customize our theme, add some plugins to do various things. And um, yeah, I won't go into that in this video. I got plenty of other videos on this channel about customizing WordPress, all the plugins, all the theme options. Uh, so check those out. Um, but at this point, I do want to focus on the fact that this is not by default automatically redirecting us to the HTTPS version of our website. So as you can see here, it's not secure. Um, we can access a secure version of our website if we go to HTTP s colon slash slash the name of our domain name and then you'll see this this lock icon up here which says the connection secure thanks to the let's encrypt certificate that we installed but we want our users just to be able to type in site to dot xyz and be taken to the secure version so in order to do that we can add a rewrite rule which will add a basically a permanent 301 redirect from http to https so let me show you how you can do that if we go back into our um, our uh, cyber panel admin dashboard, specifically for site2.xyz, uh, and we go to the configuration section and rewrite rules, click on that. And this, this happens sometimes you, after you do the SSL certificate, you just have to refresh the page and come back in. Um, so it'll work the second time here. But if you come back down to the configuration section, click on rewrite rules, and we can add just two lines of um, code here, which is gonna look something like this. I'll have this linked in the description below if you don't wanna type it out. Anyway, it's a, uh, like I said, it's taking whatever is currently being served over port 80, which is it, by default the HTTP port and redirecting that to HTTPS uh, with a permanent 301 redirect. So if we save those rewrite rules, and uh, go back to our WordPress website. If we refresh the page here, this should automatically go from a non-secure connection to a secure connection, thanks to the rewrite rules, and it does. So we got the lock icon now, same type of thing, the Let's Encrypt certificate here. Um, like I said, if you want to learn how to customize WordPress, add some plugins, all that stuff, if you're new to the world of WordPress, check out some of my other videos over here, and I have some other videos about CyberPanel that might be interesting to you, so check those out as well. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel for more, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.